Hey, remember that game I told you about? Uh, the one about sacrificing our friends? Oh, no, the other one. Wait, what? What? What did you do? Oh, the one you called Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, and you know how I said rolling dice was one of the core mechanics of the game, right? Right. So I was thinking, instead of having one dice, why not have two? Seven. Oh, just like the, the seven, seven horcruxes from Harry Potter, exactly. Not what I was going for, but okay. Here, let me show you them. Now you see, this dice is called a die 20, and it's the main dice we use in the game. All right, what's it used for? Mainly to swear at and tell it how it destroys everything it touches. Understandable. It's also a criminal and goes to jail a lot. Why? Because it has a serial killer soul stored inside of it. Holy crap, just like the Horcruxes. Now this one's a die 12. It's mainly used by the DM to generate random hours in the day, and it's also used to determine the month and some measurements. That makes sense, because a lot of things use 12 as their core number. <laughs> yeah, but no one's gonna do that. What? It will most likely be used to deal heavy weapon damage, and will never roll higher than a 6. Well, why do these two look the same? Oh! This one's a die 10, and this one is a percentile dice. Okay. You could roll them separately, or you can roll them together to give you an outcome of 1 to 100. Oh, that's so cool! Those dice can be used for so many different mechanics and role-playing purposes. The, the, the uses for that dice is endless. You're right, that's why only one class will use both of these dice together. So out of everything you could do with it, you're making it only have one use. Actually, two uses. What's the other one? Oh! It makes you shut up. Anyway, this is a D8, and it has a really cool shape to it, so I put it in there. That is pretty cool. And this is a die 6 that I got from my Yahtzee box. What's that one used for? Mainly for calculating damage and for playing Yahtzee. I should've saw that joke coming. And this one's a die 4, and it's mainly used for healing spells. That's a good one. Yeah, but what's ironic is if you step on one of these, you'll lose hit points in real life. That design actually sounds dangerous. Oh, it is. Just wait until they make metal dice and make the ends extremely pointy. Well... Cool! I can't wait to use these dice when I play my character. Actually, you'll most likely use about three of these for your character. Uh, okay, you know what? This is all really confusing, and I don't have time for this, so good luck with figuring all this out. Hold on, I lost my d4. Ow! Oh, good, you found it.